we are going to learn chapter number 1 growing plants part 2 in part 1 we have learnt about seed coat inner and outer part of the seed germination and the stages of germination in part 2 we are going to learn about this person so let's go our today's topic is dispersal now what is mean by dispersal dispersal means the process by which seeds are scattered away from the parent plant is called dispersal okay and now some ways of seed dispersal are given in the picture here you can see this is a maple seed see you can see here okay it has wing like structure in some seeds okay now we will learn about dispersal by wind seeds of certain plants are very light and have wing like structures or hair on them these seeds are easily carried away by the wind from one place to another examples are maple and dandelion seed Dandelion, this is the dandelion seed. Dandelion seeds are with hair on them. Okay, you can see here there are hairs and when the air comes it flies away. Okay, seeds having wing like structures or, or hair are dispersed by wind. Okay, now we will learn about dispersal by water. Dispersal by water. Seeds of plants such as lotus and coconut are spongy or have a fibrous covering which helps them to float on water. Water carries the seeds from one place to another. Now what happens when the, you go on the beaches? You can see so many coconut trees over there. Okay? Near beach. Okay? Then the coconut falls in that river and it floats for some days or some weeks or some years. Okay. And after some years you can see same plant growing in the coconut. Okay. This is called dispersal by water. Now let us observe the diagram sorry the picture over here okay seeds of coconut are dispersed by water now when the coconut is falling in that river you can see same plant growing over there okay here okay if you got that plant you can you can keep it at home also if you want to grow it at home you have to take a coconut and Keep in water, okay? And after many years or some days or some weeks, you can see same plant growing over there, okay? Our next topic is this person by animals, okay? Seeds of some plants such as cock liver, have spines or hooks. These seeds stick to the bodies of animals and birds and are thus carried away from the parent plant. Now what happens when a sheep or a dog animals passes through a plant the cochlebur seeds are stuck on their skin stick on their skin and when they roam anywhere, the seeds are fall, falling over there and you can see the same plant growing over there. Birds and animals eat fruits of various plants. Undigested seeds of these fruits passes through their digestive system intact and are dispersed to other areas. Now, when birds are from birds, the seeds are eaten. Then what happens? 
it passes through the digestive system undigested okay and and they throw away the seeds and you can see same plant growing over there undigested seeds of this fruits pass through their digestive system intact and are dispersed to other areas now our next dispersal dispersal by explosion the fruits of some plants such as peas and beans burst open when they are ripe scattering the seeds in all direction this method of seed dispersal is called explosion now what happens when the plant from the pod you can see the seeds falling over there okay and after some days you can see same plant growing over there okay this method is called explosion once again i am telling you that when the seeds fall on the ground from the that pod cover and you can see the same plant growing over there and it is called explosion thank you